Uh, so, welcome to the channel. Uh, in this video, we will see the code uh, how to cancel the scheduled lo lo local notification. So, I already upload the demo of this code, and in this, I will show you the code exactly. And uh, I will put the demo link uh, inside the description of this video. So, uh, before uh, make sure uh, you install this plugin before writing the code. So, this is the local notification capacitor plugin, and you have to run this command uh, inside your application, inside your code uh, to your path. Uh, and uh, after this, you can able to use the local notification. So, now let's go to code. So, you can see we have a TS file and HTML file. So, you can write your code inside your page. So, this is the page, uh, this is my page, uh, Noti, Noti, you can put of any name, you, you can create of your any name and here is the TS file and here is the HTML file. Now, uh, if, if you check the TS file, after, after installing the plugin, I import the Cancel option, local notification, the schedule option from capacitor local notification. So, this is the first step you have to import this, and after this, I create a ID, ID property global type of type any. So, this is the ID, and this ID is nothing but we will define, I will use this ID property when we create the when we, we schedule the local notification and we mention a ID inside this, and this ID. Uh, will indicate that particular local notification. So, when we have to cancel the local notification, uh, uh, we have to use this ID. So, this ID will be used to schedule the local notification and the same ID will be used to uh, cancelling the lo local notification. So, we have two methods here to schedule and to cancel. So, let's check the schedule notification first. So inside schedule notification, we, we will schedule the local notification after 5 seconds. So we have to create a date object here and we have to add 5 seconds more uh, inside the created date object. So T is nothing but 5 seconds ahead date object. And after this, we assign the current timestamp with the date dot now function inside the global ID property. So ID is nothing but this this ID property. So we have defined two two things here the the date object and the ID. So if, if we don't define date object, then uh, scheduled noti notification will be scheduled at the moment. So if we want to uh, schedule the notification after five seconds or ten seconds, then we have to mention the date uh, of the exact scheduled time. So, after defining these two, we have to create the options of type scheduled option and we have some property here id, title, body and schedule. So, id is nothing, we have to put a id to, mention, to indicate that particular lo local notification. So, we can access uh, that local notification by the defined id. Uh, so, id is defined by this dot id pr property. And title, we have defined title and body like this. You can put any text here. And scheduled is uh, the date. In the schedule property, we we bind the add property with the defined date object. So, it is nothing but the defined uh, date object of 5 second time ahead. So, this is the option basically. And this option uh, will be used to create the schedule the lo local notification. So local notification have a method schedule, and schedule will pass the options defined above. So so this will schedule our lo local notification. So this is the code of scheduling the local notification, and uh, let's check the cancel for local cancelling the local notification. So. So, I already uh, told you we need the ID of that particular local notification to canceling that uh, local notification. So, so inside this method, uh, cancel local, local notification, we define the option of type cancel options and we pass the notification array as a property. And inside the array, we pass the object with the ID property and ID 
inside id we define the global id property here so this id and this id will be same so that then it will cancel this schedule local notification so make sure the id of the both uh, option will be same now uh, we d we call local notification cancel method uh, and, and we pass the option here so it will cancel the local notification so id is the key key member to ca cancelling any local notification so make sure you have the id of that particular local local notification so now this is the two method and uh, on ngo unit we defined a event handler so whenever local notification received the we generated a alert that notification received so this is the event handler local notification received so this is the these three codes are needed inside this app and if you check the html we have two button here are to schedule the local notification to canceling the local notification so and it will schedule will call the schedule lo local notification function and cancel will call the cancel local local notification function so this is the code hope you understand this this is a simple code and nothing anything difficult inside this so and i will put the demo of this app uh, demo video of this app inside the description of this video you can check if you, if you want so thank you Thanks for the time. We'll back soon with some other video. Thank you.